Well, hello, 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 everybody. The name is Falconize, and welcome back to Trails in the Sky, second chapter. So, the last time we... Let's just talk quietly, because we are at the Ouroboros H Quarter. Headquarter, not H Quarter. What am I saying? I don't want us to get caught too soon as well, because I know that we will get caught really soon. <laughs> but anyway, I've done a couple of the side quests already, so don't worry, I didn't miss some, so I got the reward as well, and um, I, yeah, what else, I have no idea what I do last time, <laughs> well, I did those stuff, and I, I still haven't done anything with the quartz and stuff, because we already here, so, okay, without further ado, let's just get sneaky, yeah? Alright, okay, I must just stop <laughs> Huh. There are two to a um uh, entrance, so I'm not sure where should we go. I don't think we should go to the middle because that's how usually it goes, you know. Let's go with the back door. Let's try <laughs> hold on. Hold on, let me check. Yep. Yep. No good. We need to find another entrance. I mean, I knew it, so, uh... Okay, let's just go from the back door, because we've become a sneaky sneak. Ooh. What's that? What is that? What in the world? Okay, I expected a lot, but not this. <laughs> Don't see anyone around. Oh, here comes the robot. No way, Archaisms. Okay. Oh, I forgot to move. Ah, whatever. Uh, should be rather fast. Dude. Ah, oh, man. Can't reach it. So hopefully Chloe can reach it. Yep. Nice. Come on, Kevin. You can do better than that. Like, ouch. That's pretty hard. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, poor Chloe. <laughs> oh boy. Kevin, you suck, man. <laughs> well, at least you has a good defense. That's for sure. I miss my Tita so much now. <laughs> Come on! Is that is that is that how all you can do? I mean, that's even not enough damage. But whatever. Let's not complain. Let's not complain. Phew! I think we're still alive, mostly. But were those were those the society's archaisms? Yeah. Said they ain't archaic. They're like the ones that assaulted us on the Annenberg. They were made recently, but it's strange. Despite all the noise we made, I don't see or hear anyone coming. Yeah, you're right. You think that analysts or even one of the enforcers would come to investigate? Those things were probably on some kind of automated patrol. Looks like we really do need to check every corner. Okay. Uh, the door is locked. Huh. I don't know. This probably gonna take some time to explore as well. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just see. Ooh. Ooh. What the? Who that? Grant? Grant! Thank I guess you're safe. Kurt told us what happened and we came as soon as we... Hold on. Something's up. Yep. I think he's brainwashed. Huh? Ah! Damn it! Oh no! Alright. I guess let's go. Grant special and strength up. Ow! Pretty hurt, pretty hurt. But it's not really a big deal. But let me get rid of this thing first. So... It will reduce our damage input as well, which is nice. And boop. 
Next. Not a big deal. We're pretty strong. Ouch. That's really far. Okay, I can only hit you, so... Okay, let's move in. Move in a little bit closer. How many health? 10,000. Okay. We can manage. We can manage. I don't want to use my uh, S break. Because I kind of feel like it's kind of waste. So with this, then, I can assume that we're going to fight Karna and Analyst as well. All right. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Thank goodness only Astiles got hit. You mm, taste my steel. Nice. So Oof. Technique nightmare. Pretty hurt, but it's not really uh, 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 threatening. See, only 700, so it's not really a big deal. Ah, this sucks, man. <laughs> Stop using the whirl whirl whirlwind blade. Okay, if that's how you want to play it, if that's really how you want to play it, then so be it, buddy. So freaking be it. There we go. So freaking be it. Uh, eh, I can just normal attack it. Why not? And Chloe, you can attack him. Bam. And Estelle, you can attack him as well. And then finish him. He should be dead. Yep. Bye. That's how you want to play it, then sure. I'll take you up for it. Oh, how the heck does he manage swings like that? Son of a... The ravers are one thing, but controlling a bracer like this? Now then. Sorry, guess I got in the way, huh? Grant, you're okay. <laughs> got a handle on what happened, Grant. Yeah, can't remember the face, but someone hijacked my mind or something. I was ordered to stop any other intruders coming through here. It must be that Professor Guy. Grant, where are Karna and Analyst? Do you know? I don't. We got separated and they caught us each alone. They're probably chained up in their own minds somewhere in here like I was. Ah, Grant! Here, give me your shoulder. We've got a boat on the beach. We'll take you there. Nah, I'm okay. I know the layout of the building, so I can get out on my own. Well, that was convenient. And I won't drag you guys down any further. Just please, find Karna and Annalise. Grant. Yeah, leave it to us. Oh, I love, some, I love this music. <laughs> ah... I mean, we are inside our enemy's fortress, and we got this kind of music. It's just like, okay, <laughs> is really, really gonna be okay? For now, we just need to trust him and keep moving. There's two more, right? Yeah. We'll need to get moving then. Come on. All right. Let's do this. Archaism classification: the herbal droid weapons utilized by the society are modeled after the ancient archaism weapons and developed by the research organization, the Third in Factories, under the direct command of an Anguis. Furthermore, these facilities produce primarily standardized humanoid units, such as both types of patrol units: the Fogo, the Scout Unit Port Seeker, as well as the Combat Unit Vanguard. But development based on the Guardian for new. Following text redacted. Okay, that should be nice. Oh, let me get some rest first. But this music though is is this is my jam, you know? This is my jam, literally. <laughs> it's like there's no sense of urgent or sense of uh uh like scary stuff, you know, because of uh, 
this music kind of denies that that we are inside their base right now so whatever go up we go what else there's a blue car there's a green car as well ah that's gonna be a lot of stuff okay okay I guess this is the second one oh no Karna okay oh boy they got Karna too no choice but to fight then oh uh, but this is kind of bad though because <laughs> we don't have an a lot of CP to work with so mm, this isn't looking pretty good but we'll manage we'll manage hopefully <laughs> let's just go BAM mm, what you gonna do nice 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 I got can you reach it nope Okay, let's just move forward as much as you can for now. Ouch. Oh no. Are you gonna call off? Oh, you suck! <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Um let's just take care of this guy first. Ouch. Ouch. That's really hurt. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get closer to the Karna. Nice. Every single stuff you shot already missed, so I like that. So I guess Chloe, you should take care of this guy. It's Karna again. Ooh. That's a pretty good damage. There we go. I can deal the same damage as you. No, you can just get closer to Karna. It might be not a good idea. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> ah, I hate this. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm afraid. Oh gosh, there we go. Ooh. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Oh, okay. I think I need to use this. No. This. There we go. I needed that. Oh, God. Thank goodness. That's a really far range. This isn't looking pretty nice. Just keep on using granite shot. Oh, <laughs> I hate this. Get out of here. Come on, wake up, buddy. There you go. Boom. Mm, nah. Okay, nice. Stay there. <laughs> Chloe! Why? Why? <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Mm. It feels nice. It feels good. <laughs> ah. Okay. There you go. Ouch. How many HP do you have? 12,000. Okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Uh, Hila, please. Come on, just kill it. That Chloe. Freaking Chloe. Ow, Estelle. Alright, with this, I got this most full. Estelle is 50% HP, so that should be okay. Stay there. Assault combination better. Chill out for a second. <laughs> what was that? Bam. Oh, 200 CP. Um. Mm, yeah, I can heal up stuff for a bit. Plasma wave. Brrr. Eh. 
Not a big deal. Chloe can handle that. Easy. Easy. Nice. That's what I like to see. Ooh. Come on, Chloe. Finish it. There we go. Finally. Freaking finally. <laughs> Alright. I get, get closer. And you, Kevin, as well. You can just... Uh, no. Shoot her from... There we go. Pew. Bam. Dang, that's a really big AoE. There you go. Give it to me. Give me that strength buff. Nice. Nice, you got some heal as well. Ah, shoot. Ah! <laughs> That's really hurt! Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just use Chloe for the heals. Chloe, need some heal. Um, maybe the AoE heal might be way better. Yeah. Thank you. Fully restored. Except as though. Hmm. Okay, nice. I get a swoop now. Say your prayer, buddy. Almost 4,000. That's a really nice damage. Okay. Pretty, pretty tough. Well, it's pretty... Not really that tough, but still pretty hurt. Every time I fight her, she seems to kick my butt harder. All right, my turn. And wakey wakey. Ugh. You guys, you managed to get here, huh? Karna, are you okay? Aside from feeling like I was run over by an airship, yeah, I'm okay. More importantly, did you find the others? Don't worry, we met Grant and had to give him a once over too, but he's fine. I'm afraid we haven't seen Annalise though. I see. I'm guessing you also had a run-in with an Enforcer or three. No, we've been hip deep in machines, but no Enforcers. Aside from you guys, there doesn't seem to be anyone here at all, actually. Really? That's strange. There were a few dozen research staff and Jaegers on guard here when we infiltrated. I guess it's possible they have abandoned the base. It is very possible. I should be able to make it out on my own. Please, find analysts as soon as you can. Leave it to us. Alright. Bye. <laughs> so the last one will be analysts. That's not gonna be good. Treatment of combatants. Temporary combatants acquired from Jaeger Corps and other sources receive the following treatments. Physical Enhancement Program, Combat Technic Enhancement Enhancement Program, Chain of Command Obedience Program, Protection of Secrecy Hypnosis Program, following text redacted. Green card key, okay. Oh boy. Alright. Oh. Well, 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 what do we have here? What the... That's that thing from before. Oh boy, that's definitely the same as the one beneath the castle. Why is it here of all places? And far more importantly, why are there two of them now? This is already complicated enough. World, thanks. It is a little terrifying. This place is even more horrific than we could have guessed. Huh. Is it a replica or is it the one from beneath the Gransel castle? We don't know. Hmm? That's a gospel, isn't it? Sure looks like one. Doesn't look like we can't do anything with it. Must be part of their experiments. Mmm. Mmm. That's a gospel, isn't it? Hmm. It seems to be, yes. Doesn't look like we can do anything with it. Not now, I guess. Ebony suit. Ooh, fancy. Do yes, please. Nice. Well, I guess this is it. Oof. There she is. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> right away, huh? So they got endless too. We need to pin her down for a minute. Oh man. I really need to die for this. Uh it's too much stuff. Thirteen thousand as well. Uh shoot. Oh great. Nice. Yeah. I need some heal. Chloe, you can heal yourself for now. Um. Mmm. Nice. Nice. At least I got the CP up now, so I can use it anyway, anytime I want. <sighs> and Kevin, I think you need to heal yourself as well. Yeah, you do need to heal yourself. Uh, okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Estelle, hit it! And Chloe, you can try to attack any of this, to be honest. Bam! <laughs> this is fun! This is what I call fun! Okay, it's Agat's turn, so... There you go! Laser! Dang! Mm. Can you reach it? Yes, you can. Nice. Okay, as that you can start to hit Annalise. Bam. And then Agate, you can go there. Bam. Deal with that guy. Or maybe I should go send Chloe as well. Nice. I should do it. Eight leaf blitz. Bam! Another... Mm, not really a big deal. Strength up! Nice! Almost there, almost 200 CP. After I get... I reach 200, I'm gonna use it right away. Fallen leaves! Ooh, okay. I see you, I see you! Bam! And then... A bam! Let me use this right away. Nice. Good amount of damage. Analyst is the easiest, I guess. Because she doesn't have a knockback like Grand did, and she doesn't really fight a lo at long range like Karna, so... Nice. It's a miss. <laughs> miss. <laughs> Alright. Hit it. Just keep on hitting. Hit it. <laughs> At this point, I'm just I'm just immune to to this miss, you know. Okay, I'll take that. But for this type of miss, I okay. I'm okay with it, you know. <laughs> I'm happy to get that miss. Get that Sepith up. Uh, four thousand left. Nice. Got some critical as well. Um, all of us. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's. Ooh, boy. Ooh, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh gosh. All right. Okay, buddy. Okay, not gonna risk it. <laughs> not gonna risk it. Whoo! What was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, Annalise, you are strong indeed. Oh, Annalise. When in the heck did the little goof get so strong anyway? True. She did kind of train to not lose to you, you know. Oh, good point. All right, let's pick her up. Yes, please. Uh, 
Mm. <laughs> Estelle, everyone, even Kevin's here too. Thank you for coming to save me. Analyze, you feel okay? Y yeah, nothing to soak at Elmo cannot fix. More importantly, the others? Don't sweat it, we freed them all. You were the last one. Oh, I see. That's good. Sorry, Estelle. I promised we'd have a big rival fight, but I didn't want it to be like this. Don't worry, you silly. It's thanks to your team that we knew about this place at all. Like Estelle said, you guys did the work of five prisoners each on this one. You just leave the rest to us. Estelle, I get... Oh, scouting job! Right! Estelle, I... There's something I gotta tell you. Huh? What? Um, well, um... While we were running around, I... I spotted Joshua. What? No crap! Uh, when the Jaegers were chasing us down, he showed up and broke through their lines. I recognized his clothes and black hair. I'm pretty sure it was him. Joshua. Estelle? Oh, uh, sorry. So, analyst, don't leave it there. Where'd Joshua go? I'm not sure. We managed to get out of that spot, but ultimately they caught us. He could have headed for the roof, though. The roof? There's some kind of airship dock on the roof of this building. I remember the soldiers and researchers heading that way. Okay, then. Unless you think you can get out on your own. Yeah, I'll be okay. This place is like a... a horror show. There might still be something in here. Everyone, be careful. Got it. <sighs> okay. This is why we need Chloe, okay? <laughs> Never thought Joshua would be here too. Let's get to the roof. Yeah. All right. Let me get the scarpers. About Beta. Based on the data collected from the experiments performed throughout Liberal, the Beta has entered the final turning phase. The simulator fully simulates the functionality of the original and manages manages a 90% synchronization rate with orbital fields. As a result, its size has increased, but execution of the gospel plan should be following text redacted. Of course. Alright, that's all we need. So we can just go keep on moving forward. Can we do this now? Nope. Alright. Okay then. Oh, there's a rest, so... Okay, stuff is about to get down because there's a light, a red light on the door as well, so... You know, it's, it's, a, it's a... what is that? Oh! Joshua! Joshua! Joshua, say something! Wh why are you so cold? Wake up! Wake up! No. Damn it! Joshua? Uh, Estelle, why are you here? Oh, thank God, Joshua! Hang on, I'll... Damn it, get away! Ooh! Ki what? Joshua, what? I guess he is hypnotized. Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Nope, never mind. No! A dull weapon. Ah, great. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Nice. No damage, at least. Ah, uh, shoot. I really need to focus on one first, then. To bring one down first. This isn't good. We don't have enough. We don't have a lot of CP to work with as well. We need to build it up. Uh, ooh, this ain't looking pretty good. Can we use some of this stuff, please? Like, I don't know. What I can use. That's a uh, Phantom Fane. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Nope. That's sad. So Plus, they don't really have a weakness against them, some elements, so... That's really hurt. Ah, that's really hurt. 
So bad. There you go. Nice, nice. Okay, Chloe. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just use Chloe for now. Because she has cast two, which is really nice, you know. So she can cast it right away. Even though I'm not in an immediate danger, because the rest of this turn is are all party member. Ooh, there's a lot of fight on this episode. Bam. I get. Go. Nice. Oh boy, really? Really? Oh, jeez. Okay, I need some heal. This. Nice. Oof, thank goodness, Kevin. At least your, your S break is pretty useful in uh, 200 CP. Alright. Okay. Whew. This is the toughest so far. Let's bring one down first. That's the important part. If we take one down, that should help us a lot. Yeah, thank you. Okay, one down. That is something to work with. So at least we get less damage. So, uh-huh. Let's keep on building our CP. And Agate is almost maxed out on the CP, so that is nice. Uh. Okay, okay. Let's keep focusing on one guy. Okay, nice. Can you reach him, though? Ah, uh, man. That sucks. It's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Nice, got some critical as well. The strike is pay off, you know, pays off. Nice. Come on, Chloe. Come on. Just keep on damaging him. Even 100 damage is really good. Let's use it right away. Nice. This isn't good. Arr! It's really hurt. Okay. No problem. Bam! Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Kevin to attack. And use Chloe to heal up. Because, like I said, she has the cast 2 quartz, which is really nice. Okay, one down. Okay, last one. Okay, this should be should be fine. Should be fine. Ooh, pretty intense though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, nice. So I can handle one more uh, Black Fang. Nice, 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 nice. You stay right in front of me. So it's just bam. Nope. Attack. Bam. Oh boy. Here we go again. Nice. I get get some more CP, please. Nice. Black Fang. Let's just skip that. Nice. I still is maxed out, so. Bam. Attack normally. Bam. Get some more damage in. And you as well. Bam. As for Chloe, I think you can use some heal up again. Yep, there we go. And Kevin. Bam. And I'm gonna use Estelle's S break. Yeah, let's just use it right away. Alright, fully restored. Well, almost, but still. Okay, okay. We can handle the, the Black Fang without, with no problem. Oh, he's dead. Nope. Oh, great. Just how much health do you have now? One. Ninety-one. Okay. I got the one part right. <laughs> but whatever. We did it. That's all that matters. That's a lot of time service, but I do need a lot more than that. Huh. <sighs> That was tough. Oh. Rennie. There they are. Ah. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> you were just a fraction too slow in realizing the deception, I fear. I'm afraid this is check and made. Well. 
Oh, heck. Ah, uh, this is... Can't stay awake. Another dream. It was a bit too easy a sport, really. But at least your reactions were amusing. It may be a small token of gratitude, but allow me to invite you to a place I think you'll find very interesting. When where is that? Oh, only Estelle? Ugh. Talk about walking right into a snake pit. Hey, Esther, you will. Yep. Is something wrong? Esther, someone tell me this is a bad joke. Wow. Over there. Oh, that's the wrong voice. Over there. Damn it. Oh boy. What is going on now? Okay, let's search around for a second. I mean, sh obviously this should be nothing. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are they gonna do with Estelle now? Oh crap! Ah. Well, this is all right, I guess. This is fine, right? Should be fine. Astana! <laughs> uh. This is... SL. I don't know who that is. But uh, I guess... Oh! Joshua? Nope. Wh why? It's... It's okay. It's enough. Well... Uh... I was always just a broken puppet. I can never go back to being human. Oh. So, enough. Enough. No. Thank you. Goodbye, Estelle. No. No! No. Ah. Oh. Wow. What a scream. Are you okay, Estelle? Rene. Oh, good. Just a dream. <laughs> Do you have a scary nightmare? Yeah. A total nightmare. Now that freaky doll is even showing up in my dreams. I mean... Huh? Wait a second. Rene, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to act all surprised. You're so laid back, Estelle. I love that about you. Yeah, well, forgive me for not being on the ball right after waking up. Anyway, where... You're on the airship. It's not so odd for me to be here, you know. We're actually at our brand new base. New base? Mm-hmm. Look at the window. Uh, okay. Okay. What? There's a burp. This ship is huge, though. It's bigger than the last one. Hmm. Or uh, this is the. 
the new base they are talking about. Possibly. Hmm. This is really big. How the heck nobody saw this though? Well, the question is, where are we? <laughs> are we in Liberal? Are we in Erebonia? Are we in the Kalfar region? So... Welcome aboard the Crimson Ark, the Glorious. This ship could beat up an entire army. Don't you think this is the best toy ever? Y you... You people... What are you planning on doing with something like this? Ah, our guest has finally awoken. Welcome aboard, Estelle. I trust your nap was restful. I'm sure you're quite out of sorts being brought aboard with no fanfare. Fear not. We haven't brought you here to cost you any harm. Far from it, in fact. You're free to relax here. Why don't we take the chance to have a nice chat? about the society, about our goals, and about our common friends. I think I can answer many of your questions. Fine. Not like I have much of a choice. Let's hear it. Excellent. I'll be waiting. Rene, be a darling and show Estelle the way up here, would you? Sure. Okay. Alright. Come on, Estelle. Let's go to the sanctuary. Sanctuary? It's a really pretty room on the top deck of this ship. The professor's waiting for us there. Alright, show me the way. Aw, you don't need to be so serious. I think you'll really like what we have to say. Huh? What do you mean? You'll just have to find out. Anyway, follow me. Come on, come on. I'm not sure about this. Hold on. There we go. This should do it. Still recording. Okay, nice. Alright, buddy. Let's just go on a little bit longer. Oops, silly me. The sanctuary isn't this way. We need to use the elevator on the opposite side of the hallway. I want to explore! So this is weird. Uh, now we're controlling Rene all over people. <laughs> uh, see, this is why we need to... Uh, yeah, We need to explore, you know? We need to explore. There's another one. Nice. Okay, now we can go forward. Uh, I assume it would be this one, but... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. I know the elevator is there. You don't need to... Uh, ooh. You are here. Hmm. Glorious forecastle. Alright. You don't need to point me out the way, you know. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Access to the sanctuary and the engine room is restricted. Please provide voice identification. Enforcer number 15, Rene. Code name, Angel of Slaughter. Destination, Sanctuary. Access granted. Welcome, Enforcer Rene. This is, um, unexpected. And here we are. This is the sanctuary. The professor should be just inside. Hey, Rene? What is it? Were you the one controlling that Joshua puppet in the base? Uh-huh, that's right. The professor asked me to. Neat, huh? <sighs> so you were a victim of the society too. Huh? Never mind. Well, here I go. See you later. I... Let's see the professor then. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, of course, with the organ or organ origin, the 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 church music piano thingy. What do you call them? That's a really big pipe. I know they that's what they use usually to produce the sound, but that's a bit I mean that's Isn't that a little bit too much? But whatever.
it's not complete it's not a complete uh, 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 feeling if you don't play this or this piano <laughs> you know what I'm saying welcome aboard the glorious it's been some time since we last met Estelle ah professor Alpa I thought it was you I finally remembered what when I heard your voice a minute ago Cassius Bright's daughter continues to impress. The seal on your memory wasn't particularly strong, but throwing it off on your own is still worth some manner of praise. My apologies. I've yet to properly introduce myself. My true name is George Wiseman. I am one of the Anguis, supervisors of the society. An Anguis? So you're like one of the high commanders of the society? Hmm, something like that. Now, as I said before, I am completely prepared to answer any questions you may have. What would you like to ask first? Honestly, there's so much to ask. I'm not even sure where to start. You need not fret. Take your time thinking things over. Okay, Estelle, I mean, I know you've grown and all, but don't you think this is uh, too calm for you, you know? You get kidnapped, and you are inside the base of the Autobot Society and you're just talking to the leader like this like nothing happened you know like just like oh hey so dude let's talk about stuff you know I mean oh if, I, if I'm in her position right now I would be freaked the heck out like seriously uh, but hey maybe she is really already grown so I don't know you need not fret take your time thinking things over if it pleases you, I could play a relaxing etude while you collect your thoughts. Yeah, I think I'll pass. You know, you didn't strike me as someone who'd be into that sort of thing. Well, whatever, here's a question for you. Was the whole poor archaeologist thing a total act or what? <laughs> Putting the poverty aside, I actually am an archaeologist. And as an aside, I picked up the pipe organ during my time with the church. Yeah, the pipe organ, there we go. I may not be that Erebonian you spend so much time with, but I dare say I'm decent, wouldn't you? Hang on, the church? Like the Septian? I was something of an academic priest. A chance meeting with the Grand Master led to me discarding the path of faith. My knowledge of artifacts, paltry as it is, still proves useful from time to time, thankfully, with our current plan in particular. The one who tempted Colonel Richard into starting the coup, and the one who arranged all the gospel experiments, it was you. It certainly was, and it was all for the sake of our cause. Your... your gospel plan? I saw something in the research facility about that. Your plan is to take the Aureole, isn't it? Take the Aureole? That's not entirely accurate, but for the purposes of this conversation, it will suffice. Yes. What is the Aureal anyway? What do you want to it why do you want it so bad? I know it's said to be one of the treasures of Ideos, but just what is it what is it? what is it? Ah, for the moment I must keep the exact nature of the Aureal a secret. I would, after all, so hate to spoil the surprise. The surprise. Right. Thanks. Our plan has moved into its third phase. Very, very soon now, its true nature will be plain to see. <laughs> I can barely contain my anticipation. And once the Aureal has shown itself, then, then we will see the potential of mankind unfurl before our eyes. The potential of mankind. Ragnar said something about that too. Oh, the Holy Beast was willing to bestow his wisdom upon you? Perhaps you are doing more than simply living in your father's shadow. Spare me the flattery. And what the heck? I keep asking you things and you keep dodging the answers. Do forgive me. It wasn't my intention to be so evasive. I can, however, easily answer the question I know you want to ask most. The... What? What keeps you from asking it? Don't be afraid. Muster your courage and ask it of me. Joshua. Where's Joshua? Hmm, his exact location is currently unknown to me. From what I've observed, he's up to something with those pas those sky bandits. 
their, mov their movements have proven to be quite elusive. Though he is alive and well, I can assure you. Okay. Joshua's specialties are covered operation and guerrilla warfare. I was the one who turned him to excel at such, but he has long since surpassed even my greatest expectations. <laughs> I gleefully await seeing the height of his potential. You? Come now, you need not look so angry. When Joshua was entrusted to my care, his heart was akin to a glass ornament that dashed against a paving stone. It was my first attempt at rebuilding such a shattered soul. Is it not natural, you think, for an academic to be curious about the result of his work? What did you tell Joshua on the day of the Queen's birthday celebrations? I merely removed the block on his memory and told him the truth, that he, once taken into your home, and unwittingly been acting as a spy and sending kill information to the society, that Richard's coup succeeded in his own right because of him. And finally that, thanks to his efforts, the ground was at last fertile of our plan. I even rewarded him. I formally released him from his obligations to the society. I finally get it. Why Joshua that night? Why he disappeared? Why he said goodbye with that look on his face? Hmm, yes, I must say I did find that regrettable. To think Joshua would abandon you so coldly after regaining himself. I recommended he just pretend he knew nothing of it and continue his life with you. But alas, I suppose my generosity backfired, no? I'm amazed. I'm amazed you can even say that. You were the one who chased Joshua into a corner in the first place. He didn't have a choice. So he had to, to look like that and give his harmonica to me and say goodbye, Estelle. All of it, every last bit, it's all your fault. Yuck. Chloe, the heck did you come from? I was here from the start. You simply didn't bother to notice. Sh sh what an undignified, perf undignified performance. Oh, oh. Yep, there they are. You performed so well in completing my challenges too. Did I not teach you to think before you act? Come on, give her some credit. It takes balls to pick a fight with them. Agreed. Regardless of her skills, her courage certainly is impressive. Though I wonder if he, if we should call it courage or mere foolishness. Oh crap. <laughs> so you're the defined Blade's daughter? Should be Campanella. I mean, who else? Yep. This will be the first time we've met. I am Enforcer number zero, Campanella the Fool. Nice to meet you. Another one? Stop it, guys. You're scaring Estelle. So how's the numbering works, though? Zero is Campanella. Two is Loey, so I guess I assume number one would be the George Wiseman. Wiseman. And then... I forget number what number Blue Blanc is. And then Walter as well. I 15 is Rene, that's for sure. That's and then Luciola I think it's either 8 or 7. And then what well, whatever. <laughs> so if Rene is number 15, then where's the rest of them? You know what I'm saying? Rene 2? You don't need to worry, Estelle. I know what I said last time, but we aren't here to hurt you or anything. Promise. Huh? Hey, Professor! Why not ask Estelle right now? Well, now is a good a time as any. How about it, Estelle? Would you like to join Ouroboros? Uh, so that's what he mean. I mean, I can totally uh, kind of guess it already. Uh, what? I'm sorry, I misheard that. Uh, would you say that one more time? I ask it you if I ask it if you would like to join the society of Ouroboros. You wouldn't become a full-fledged enforcer right away, of course. You would be more a candidate for the position. <laughs> Are you insane? Come now, it's hardly the leap of logic you're thinking. Joshua has been rather stubborn about returning, but with you here, he would undoubtedly come back to us and to you. Oh, um, um, 
Estelle, you want to see Joshua again more than anything else, right? If you join us, that will come true right away. What's there to even think about? But... but... I... Now, Rene, Estelle might need some time to weigh her opinion options. We will be departing the ship for a little while on business, Estelle. You may give us your answer when we return. Mm -hmm. And I do apologize for this, but your options must remain fairly limited during your stay. Feel free to request anything you need, but you'll be staying in your cabin. That sucks! Huh. Oh boy. If I join the society, I'll meet Joshua again. That's all but guaranteed. Besides, I don't have to join them for real, right? I can just, like, pretend to join them and learn more about how they operate. I'm not the best actress in the world, so it might be hard, but it's better than just being locked up. I mean... I... I mean, I know you'll miss Joshua and all, but it's... At this point, it kinda get into, like, an, an, an obsession to meet him. Which, uh, frankly, it's not a good idea. It's not a good thing to have an obsession over that, you know? Because he, this, you know, as you can see, like, now, he, now she is uh, pretty uh, confused whether or not he should, she should join the Ouroboros or not. Because, let's get real, from the very beginning, she would be easily say no to it. But, you know, since Joshua at stake here, you know, you can meet Joshua fairly easy when if she joined the society. Uh, it's kind of an obsession, so I stop. Please, just, just, please. No, just don't. No, that's stupid. That isn't the way I do things. Pardon me. Oh. Huh? You. <laughs> no need to be so on guard. I have no intention of, of harming you. Though, if you try something like that little stunt of yours earlier, I may have no other choice. Yeah, well, sorry. What are you doing here anyway? Weren't you guys doing going out somewhere? The professor and the others are the ones who will be advancing the plan. I'm staying behind and minding the glorious. What is it you people are planning on doing? If you wish to find out, why not accept the professor's invitation? You'll learn most of our plans if you do. <laughs> it seems you have your answer. But you're still hesitating, aren't you? Um, if you want my advice, as though bright, you are not suited for the society of Ouroboros. At all. In both ability and personality. Man, do you have to be so completely blunt about it? Don't misunderstand me. The potential for the necessary skill is within you, somewhere. But your personality. You have too little darkness within you to be part of the Ouroboros. Darkness? All those in service to the Grand Master bear some kind of darkness on their shoulders. Myself, the Professor, the other Enforcers. Joshua too, needless to say. Hey, what's your relationship to Joshua anyway? Our relationship? Joshua was weirdly focused on you. He seemed to know you, who you were even though he didn't recognize you with, with that mask on. And on top of that, it seemed like he was desperate to find out who you were. That doesn't surprise me. The professor sealed part of his memory away. He was hypnotized in such a way that the moment he left the society, he could remember little about us. Even if he remembered his actions as part of the society, he could not remember his confederates. That would have been the core of his dilemma. That's... The memories of his childhood would be the same. Even if he remembers Karin, he likely would have only loosely remembered her me. I see. So that's why... Wait, Karin? I've heard that name before. Karin Astre, a childhood friend of mine and Joshua's older sister. She died 10 years ago. What? That harmonica you have was originally Karin's. Joshua held onto it as a memento. And then it was passed on to you. Joshua had an older sister? Um, how? How did Karin, um, pass away? I hope you know what you're really asking. The answer to that question requires Tarish staring into the abyss in which Joshua and the rest of us reside. And it will stare back. Are you prepared for that? Tell me. I don't know if I'm ready for what's coming or whatever, but... 
I want to know what kind of path Joshua has followed. If nothing else, I have to know that. As you wish. It was a little over 10 years ago, back when you could still find the village of Hamel in maps on maps of Erebonia and Liberal. Nice, now we got to we got to see the past. Hamel was a tiny little place. There weren't many other young people, so the three of us were always together. I dreamed of becoming a bracer, and I spent my free time practicing my swordsmanship. Karen and Joshua would watch and encourage me. That was how we whiled away the days. Once I was done with practice, we would turn our ears to Karen's harmonica. Karen could play anything on that harmonica. Anything. But my favorite was always the old Erebonian folk song, The Whereabouts of Light. It seemed like the bliss would last forever. We believed that. We had no reason to doubt it. That day dawned and began just like any other, and then day came. A band of invaders, carved in black and armed with the Berlian weaponry, came from nowhere. They encircled the village and slaughtered everyone in sight. None were spared, not the old and infirm, not the young and defenseless, not even infants. Those who were killed quickly in the opening moments were the luckiest by far. And the women, even in this telling, there are some things I will not recount. Okay. We fled desperately from that hell. We were lucky to be in a position to escape when the attack began. We fled for the outskirts of the village, with screams of our own families carried to our ears on the, w on the wind. Once we'd gotten to the outskirts, I told Karin Joshua I would ask, act as bait to confuse any pursuers. I promised them I would catch up to them soon and send them ahead. But the attackers, they had laid their plans well. They had people in position to deal with any who tried to flee. When I'd finally caught up to them, the scene was strangely quiet. A man, dead, shot through the throat. Joshua, with a gun in his hand, dumbstruck, and Karin holding Joshua with a horrific wound on her back. She was barely breathing at that point. Even now, the scene seemed surreal to me. Karin was calm and content. She entrusted her harmon harmonica to Joshua, then asked that I take care of him. And then, she died quietly, there in that clearing. Why on... Why did that... The Empire invaded Liberal most, almost immediately afterwards. A defenseless little village, its inhabitants slaughtered by men with Liberlian arms. It was almost too perfect an excuse to invade. It can't be... Liberlian troops doing that? When the local garrison found us, they were adamant the invaders were Liberlian. When the war ended a few months later with the Empire's defeat, however, we were given a different tale entirely. They told us instead that a band of Jaeger's dropouts had turned to pure brigandry, and they told us to never speak to anyone else of the attack. The Erebunian authorities announced that Hamel had been destroyed in a landslide, and all roads leading there were to be closed completely. H hold on! What? Why would they lie about that? Neither explanation makes sense! That's almost like... <laughs> Indeed, everything was a fabrication by the war hawks in the Empire to justify the invasion of Liberal. At the end of the war, the ruse was discovered, and the Imperial government was thrown into a panic. They conceded to a comprehensive pay peace and executed nearly everyone involved in the plot, all to pretend that it never happened. That, as Albright, is a tragedy of Hamel in full. But that was also when Joshua's heart was broken entirely. He was now burdened with the torturous death of his sister, his parents, and everyone he knew, 
and even the shock of taking another man's life. How could that not shatter the soul of a six-year-old child? You will likely heard the rest from Joshua. His spirit was so wholly broken that he lost all will to do anything but play that harmonica. He began to waste away. That was when the two of us were found by Wiseman. To save Joshua's life, I entrusted him to Wiseman's care and threw myself into Ouroboros training. And then, two years later, Joshua, repaired as he was by Wiseman, followed the same path. This is darkness, says the upright. Do you understand what sort of gulf separates you and Joshua now? Do you understand what he stares into every day? I do, yeah. Now I think I really understand why Joshua left. Hmm? Hey, next time you see him, tell Wiseman thanks, but no thanks. I'll never join Ouroboros. It's not because I like or dislike the society, but as long as I'm going to pull Joshua back over that gulf you mentioned, forget it. Although, I do feel kinda bad about letting Renit down after she went through all this trouble to invite me. Hey, you think she'll forgive me if I say I'm a sorry? <laughs> You're one of a kind, Estelbright. To hear those horrors and thus lose your hesitation. You truly are more than just the daughter of the Divine Blade. Uh, thanks for the compliment, I guess. And you should say all that, but you care about Joshua too, right? You guys were friends. Or maybe more like brothers. Yes, so. Let me be absolutely clear. That was 10 years ago. To me now, he is nothing more than a rogue element to be eliminated. The professor seems to enjoy letting Joshua do as he pleases. I have a different plan in mind. Sooner or later, I will deal with Joshua personally. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Karin asked you to take care of him. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I have my own path I've chosen for myself. I've dedicated myself to my goal, and any who stand in my way shall die by my blade. Not even Karin's final request will stop me. How can you... What? What? Ah! Uh, what's that noise? Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty long. Those are the professor and the others, yes. It looks like the third stage of the plan is getting underway. I assume they are gonna put all the gospel inside the each tower. So yeah. The third stage? What's <laughs> that is not for you to know. Once we're finished, you'll be returned to your father. Behave until then. Now just... Uh... As one final note, don't even think of attempting to escape. The glorious it is 8,000 arch above ground. You have nowhere to run. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whew, that's pretty... T that's my backstory, you know. The feel is pretty strong. Don't even think of attempting to escape, he says. As if he doesn't know that it's human nature for me to want to do the exact opposite. Besides, he's the only enforcer on board. Alright, why not? Let's do this. Just... Okay, whatever, Estelle. <laughs> yeah. What are you looking for? Okay, the timing is gonna be everything. If I can figure that out, I'll be good. Let's see. I'll wait a couple of hours until they let their guard down and then... Uh, right, it's worth a shot. Really? So this was a memento of Karin, huh? You shouldn't throw away something like this so easily, you idiot. Well, I mean... That means he cares about you, you know? He entrusted his other life, other life to you, so, you know. Eh, time to change shifts. How's the girl acting? Ha, quiet as a mouse. She might be a bracer, but she's just still just a kid. Oh, really? You wanna try 1v1 me, mate? 
probably curled up in bed, scared out of her mind. Chee, bad mission while everyone else is out sucks. This is so boring, I wanted to get out there to the action. Quit your whining, there's our Leonhardt's orders, and hey, if I'm not gonna follow his instructions to the letter. Eh? What was that sound? Hey, what are you doing? You don't think she escaped? Well then, damn it! That stupid girl, does she not get where she is? Is she trying to kill herself or something? Oh, cannot take me right now. She probably fell. You have got to be kidding me. What are we gonna tell Leonhardt? Uh, that'll let us keep our heads. A uh, damn brat. Nothing but a load of trouble. Nope. Damn brat, huh? Yep. There you go. Gah! Dun, 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 dun. You. You wanna fight? Nice try, old man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bang! Nice! So you said I'm just a kid, huh? How about that? <coughs> you did. <laughs> Never underestimate a bracer. First of all, don't you think that was a little rude, calling a sweet maiden like myself a damn brat? It, it wasn't me. I didn't call you that, I swear. Oh, you didn't. Well, you didn't correct your body then. Either way, it's nap time for you. Nah, there we go. Good night. Good. Nighty night, soldier. Okay. Reinforcements are probably gonna get here real quick, so I should book it. There's gotta be some way of this boat. And I won't give up. Not until I see Joshua. Not until I see that dummy again. You won't stop for anything, Louis. Well, neither will I. Alright, dun 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 dun, okay! <laughs> nice! Stuff is about to get crazy! I like this. I like this. Okay, let me just save that and uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. So sorry if this uh, quite when uh, it went quite a while as well because, you know, there's a lot of story happening and uh, we got finally we got to learn what's happening on Hamel as well. It's really heavy and... Um, <laughs> Oh, finally, but now I now Estelle is picking herself up so which is nice so and now she's trying to escape Nice nice. We'll help her escape this fortress. So yeah, I guess that's for today Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having fun together with me spread lost Spotify, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya